Now, the official Sun Coast weather with ABC7 meteorologist John Scalzi. Our air temperature is hovering just about where we would expect it to be at this time of day, this time of year. 75 degrees. The air temperature dew point is at 71. Uh, we have an east wind currently at about 3, although it's been more consistently out of the southeast during the overnight. And a beautiful starry sky. Becky and Mayaka, com, old Mayaka, commented on just how lovely that sky is for her currently. Uh, she has 67 degrees in Old Mayaka, our longtime weather watcher. 76 degrees in uh, Wachula, Arcadia coming in at 75, 75, Mayaka, 76 in Bradenton, down one degree this hour, 77 in Parish and uh, Lakewood Ranch at 77, 78 in Venice, 77 in Inglewood, 75 in Northport, and 73 degrees in Punta Gorda. Nothing in terms of radar echoes across the area this morning. It'll be a nice, dry morning commute. A few scattered showers that way out in the Gulf, though. Um, at least 40, 50 monocle miles out there. So, and they aren't returning to shore, so really no issues this morning. It's beautiful out there. Nice start to the day. Uh, we have a big ridge of high pressure sitting over the deep south. We like it there. It's good right now. It's taking our tropical storm Earl and keeping it far away from the state of Florida, kind of a uh, meteorological force field, if you will, keeping our tropical trouble south of us. A nice southeasterly wind flow across the state of Florida again will collide with our sea breezes in the afternoon. Showers and thunderstorms will build along the spine of the state and generally drift toward the coastline. You notice we have two kind of weather patterns across the state of Florida right now. From about Tampa Bay northward, they are under the influence of a southwesterly wind around the top half of that high. So their showers are coming from the Gulf in the morning and then moving toward the other coast. South of Tampa Bay, for us, and especially South Florida, a general southeasterly wind flu is encouraging some morning showers around Miami, Lauderdale, Florida Keys, and those showers marching across the peninsula will move into our area later in the day. And they'll build along the sea breeze front. And they'll drift toward Gulf waters and dissipate during the evening hours. So we expect more afternoon storms, highs in the lower 90s. Again, slightly above average for this time of year, as has been the case for the last several months, actually. Calm overnight as those showers kind of dissipate as the sun goes down, heating of the day is removed. Showers build along the sea breeze front. A few of those showers might drift back toward the coastline during the evening. Maybe tomorrow morning we see a few more showers along the coast. Shouldn't be a big problem. They build in inland areas. And then I think as we head into Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, we'll see probably a little more activity over on the other coast than our coast. Tropics look pretty good. Watch a tropical wave coming off the coast of Africa. It's far away, though, and so shows at this point. No shot sign, easy for me to say, of organization. We do have one system, of course, that is producing some very, very rough seas, heavy downpours of rain uh, across the uh, Central American coastline. Tropical Storm Earl, probably soon to be Hurricane Earl, is on a march that takes it close to Belize. There are watches and warnings up for their coastline that is forecast to make landfall as a Category 1 storm. They've upped the forecast just a little bit. Very warm waters down here, lesser shear. We talked about how there might be some strengthening as it moved into this section of the Caribbean on Monday. And I do believe that we'll probably see a landfall in Belize with this system, with the biggest impact being heavy rainfall, flash flooding, and, uh, and that sort of thing. Maybe some uh, heavy winds along the coastline, but it's not going to be a real windstorm. And then it moves into central Mexico again, of little importance to the state of Florida. We have a uh, southwest wind coming in at about 10 knots today. That'll bring you a light chop. Nice day out there on the waters, I think. Should be a nice place to be, actually, as on land, daytime highs will once again run above average, coming in in the low 90s.